Network security is a foundational topic for the CISSP and other cybersecurity certifications. There's lots to memorize in this domain, and Thor Peterson's bootcamp on Udemy says that within networking, this OSI model, the Open Systems Interconnections model, is something you need to memorize stone cold, which makes me think of this guy. Thor's course has an excellent summary handout of the OSI model laid out in a diagram with boxes and arrows. And when you show up to a Pearson View test center on the CSSP exam day and you get a legal paper sized whiteboard, this is a great thing to jot down on it as a reference before you start answering exam questions. In today's video, I'll draw out that reference model, adding five bonus protocols that aren't in Thor's original version, but are worth memorizing. And then I'll walk you through it. So check it out. I'm going to show you my drawing this model at 10x speed and then I'll walk you through it. Let's go. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed the Stone Cold soundtrack from the early 2000s as much as I did. Uh, let's go through it. So please do not throw sausage pizza away is across the top. Physical data link network transport session presentation layer. Then starting with layer seven in the applications uh, that users interact with. The email service has three protocols you can expect to see on the CISP exam. Post office protocol, simple mail transfer protocol, internet message access protocol. And those are on ports 110, 25, and 143, which use the connection-oriented TCP, Transport Control Protocol. Websites. These are the two I knew before I got into cybersecurity. We've got unencrypted HTTP on port 80 and encrypted HTTPS, bringing the lock icon to our browsers on port 443. File transfer. FTP is on ports 2021, the first for data transfer, the second for control. And then there's trivial FTP on port 69. Host sessions. There's Telnet, which is un insecure with unencrypted text communications. And then port 23 has the better secure option, secure shell on port 22. That's the last one that's TCP only from this short list. And then we get into directory services. DNS, domain name service, that's the phone book for the internet. LDAP, lightweight directory access protocol over SSL or TLS. Those are on ports 53 and 636 using both TCP and the connectionless UDP, user datagram protocol. File sharing with NetBIOS is the same. And then we have, for network management, simple network management protocol and dynamic host configuration protocol. These are on ports 161 and 162 using UDP. Next at the network, layer three, that's using IP4 and IP version six. Layer two, slip triple P, that's serial line internet protocol and point to point protocol. These lead into layer one, ASDL, asymmetric digital subscriber line through phone lines. ATM, asynchronous transfer mode, ISDN, integrated services digital network, which is for broadband or analog, and RSX, uh, RS and different numbers for various recommended standards. Then to the bottom of layer two, in that swim lane, we have 802.2 SNAP, subnetwork access protocol for multiplexing, Ethernet 2, which is baseband or digital, not analog, and those deliver bits through fiber distributed data interface for fiber optic connections, or CAT 3 to 7 cables, the ones we see plugged into our computers. And then there's coax cables that we see plugged into some uh, home modem routers. I mentioned bits. These turn into frames, packets, segments, and data as protocol data units, or PDUs. And in the simplified TCP IP model that takes these seven swim lanes and puts them into four, we've got application, transport, internetwork, link, and physical. So that's the whole thing. I hope you find it helpful as an exam strategy and to learn about networking. I need to study right now. Maybe you do too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.